Richard Riley's op art is the inspiration for my adventures today as an op art artist or optical art artist. So what Bridget Riley does is she creates the illusion of form and or movement on a two dimensional plane, while a piece of paper is two dimensional. So I'm going to create a design which will appear um, as though it is rising and falling in an undulating pattern from my page when really all I'm using is a pencil, a ruler, and colored pencils. As you can see, by creating curved lines on each section of my radial design, um, it appears that the page is coming up and going down and coming up and going down, almost as if it's striped fabric. Um, so now I'm going to enhance that look by or with the use of colored pencils and shading. Now, when I want a stripe to look like it is um, the lowest point. So if this is folded down, the lowest point is going to be in the middle of that um, like pie slice, so to speak. So that would be the darkest and then the edges would be the lightest. And watch how I shade this, it'll enhance the feel of um, the paper actually looking like it's bending down into the middle of that fold. So while this section appears that it's going in, this section is going to appear like it's going out. So I want the darkest part to be, the darkest part is the furthest part away from you. So I want the darkest part to be the edges this time and the lightest part to be the middle. repeat that process for the entire work and when it's done it'll have a really neat optical effect for our op art project. Now you can see the complete work and hopefully to you it looks like bands of ribbon or striped cloth undulating up and down and up and down throughout the work when really it's just a flat piece of paper. Mm -hmm.